All right, I want to do a video on these little guys here. At first I thought they were um, filters since they're made by Murata, but they're actually uh, oscillators. And you say, oh, that's just a TTL oscillator. No, it's not. It's actually a, uh, a voltage controlled oscillator. So these were, I believe, made for cellular, not cellular telephone, but wireless telephone. Remember those? <laughs> it's made for wireless telephone. So the little dash one, 915 is 915 megahertz. And so it has a bunch of pins on the bottom that you can control. So it takes a VCC and then there's a VCO pin where you can change the frequency and there's a pin to do modulation. And yeah, they're, they're quite a cool little part. So uh, I got a bunch of them. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, I'll take one of these over to the grinder and uh, try to take the top off of it without damaging anything. It's pretty tall, so I think I'll, I'll be okay. Uh, open it up and let's, uh, we'll go put it under the microscope. All right, uh, let's see if I can get the whole, let's see if I can get the whole thing in here first. So we have a, uh, two transistors, a diode, some capacitors, resistors, and then uh, let's see if I can point inside this thing without, can I point in here? I guess I can point. So you have this thing here and that is a, um, Resonant cavity, I believe. If somebody knows uh, data sheets for those things, I've, I, I don't know what, exactly what they're called. I don't know how to find a data sheet on them. I've seen a bunch of them, and I believe they're just a, a simple resonant cavity, but I don't know how to search for it. So let me, um, let me kind of take you around here. Uh, so obviously there's the oscillator there and the output. There's probably an oscillator transistor and then an output drive transistor. Um, so this particular device has, uh, it's a voltage controlled amplifier. So you can bring in a signal. I believe it's on, uh, it's on this pin down. Uh, I'm not pointing on the right spot. That one right down there. Uh, the lower, lower, I should just say the lower left. And um, it, it modifies the, the frequency. Some of these, I believe, also had a, a function to modify the, uh, they had, a, they had a, a tune pin and they had an audio frequency modulation pin. So one was kind of a, a coarse adjust and one was a fine adjust for the frequency. So you could uh, build, I think these were made primarily for uh, cordless phones back in the day when people had wired phones and they made them cordless phone. Now everybody has a cell phone, but yeah, let me, uh, let me tilt it up a bit so you can see the, uh, resonant cavity thingy. Uh, it is over, over here. I think you can see it now. Yeah, there you go. So it's kind of got a hole and it has a uh, plating on the outside. So it's a can. And then there's this hole in the center that's the resonant cavity and you make an electrical contact to that center pin. So that's how it fix, that's how it gets its initial frequency. And then this one has some interesting things in it as well. Let's see if I can, let's see if I can get a good spot on those. Let's see if I can, so right there. So right, right in the center of the screen, there are three resistors that are laser trimmed. I'll try to get a better shot of that uh, with higher magnification, but yeah, it's laser trimmed. So, so I think that's a, a better picture. You can see those three, three resistors with the laser trimming on them and the uh, resonant cavity there. If I can move over a bit so you can see the rest of it. I can focus on these things. It's always hard to do under the microscope. Oh, there you go. That's what's inside this thing. So let's, uh, let's go wire one up. See if we can make it oscillate. So I have a part here. I've got five volts on it and I've got a, a second, um, power supply to do the, uh, VCO part. So somewhere tunable between something like uh, one and 12 volts, you can, you can swing it. 
and then the part itself is good um, at different voltage levels depending on how much power you want out of it. So it'll operate at 5 volts fine and you can operate at higher voltages if you need more uh, if you need more output power. But uh, this is the output right here and I'm going to I'm going to use my non-contact uh, scope probe, my E-field probe. And then we can take a look at it on the spectrum analyzer and we see we having a we have some type of signal here in the middle. And let's do a peak search on that. And then we will go zoom in on it. This machine will automatically zoom on that, zoom in on that peak. And we can see that we've got some uh, frequency instability. It might not be the best layout here on a uh, proto, proto board. It probably needs a good ground plane and good RF ground connections and stuff, but uh, it's sitting there. Looks like it's FM modulating almost, right? Uh, so the marker is bumping around at 917 and uh, this is part is marked 915 but I do have a bias voltage applied so let's uh, let's lower this widen the span out here so we can see things and let me let me drop the amplitude there we go so let me uh, let me walk around the camera and I'll adjust that uh, VCO pin it's at 2.6 volts now. Yeah, there you go. So it's at 2.5 volts. Oh yeah, it has a it has a very large swing. So it's pretty cool. So at least at this uh, zooming out this far, it doesn't you don't see that FM modulation on it. It looks pretty clean here. But yeah, let me zoom out some f zoom out further. Oops. Uh, span. Okay. How far can we go? Let's see. What is that? That is. Okay, I can do a trick here. I can do uh, peak search, marker function, tracking us on. All right. So we, it's going to stay in the center, but it's going to uh, tell us what the frequency is. So I think it said one volt was the bottom. So here's one volt, it's uh, 897 megahertz. Uh, here's two volts, it's 911. Uh, here's three volts, it's 921. Uh, four volts, it's 934. And five volts, it is 942. So yeah, very wide, very wide uh, tuning range. Very nice. Okay. Well, it's nice to have a uh, a VCO and a can. Like I said, it probably needs a nice PC board layout to uh, quiet it down and uh, and use it and stuff. But uh, yeah, I've got a I got a bunch of them. I have to think of some some type of project. I uh, I opened one up so we can see it inside. I blew one up. <laughs> I wired it up wrong and it got really, really hot, so I just threw it away. So if I got some of it, it might have been okay, but it got really, really hot. And then uh, uh, that's the one that's in here. So anyway, I've got a, got a bunch left. Try to find a project for them.